Tommy Hand, Allen Hale, first team out, 39-19 on two. Well, let's get the first one down and do it clean and set them up. Get the flag, and there we are, 9.46. Good run for the first team out on three steers. They're going to be a 48-65. and 65. Make sure the flag comes down. This is Barlow and King, callback number 22. Another good spin. Oh, and that hill loop comes up empty. They go out of the average with no time. Callback 21. Tennessee team, Whitney Hagemaker and Chip Bliss, the 33 and 26. Chad and Terry, you'll be next. Well, that's not going to work. And they are no time. Chad Applegate, Terry Knight, Mississippi team. We're the top 20 now. Next. We're in a short round of the eighth pick draw. Slips off the left horn. It's no time. Arkansas and Tennessee for Heath Stevenson, Van Figaro, Pineapple on the backside, coming from Hawaii. Lives in Tennessee now. They're 3194. A little barrier problem to begin with, but a quick turn on the back end. Not going to work for them. There's no time. They go out of the average family affair of the Tobert family. This is Victoria and Joe. Victoria and Joe Tobert. They are 31 and 80. All right, Victoria. Does an awesome job around the horns. Joe, it's your turn in the buckskin horse. How about that? Oh. Had him roped and lost his rope. Nobody feels worse than he does. Go back. Sean Webb, Eddie Moore. They're 31 and change coming in. Beerwood and Mick Alexander. You'll follow this team. Farrier's still okay. Just get him caught. They do that. Guess what? 1306 with the Farrier still makes you fast enough to go to the lead. At 44 and 47, you're number one in the average. With 16 to go. This is Jerry Earwood, Billy McAlexander from Columbia and Moscow, Tennessee. Co plays with Sappington. Get ready. Paint Horse Cowboys back in there. They need to be 1365 to go to the lead. Head and doors handle black and white to the back side. How about this deal? Get a flag. Get the flag at 11 and 12. They will go to the lead in the roping. Get them all stretched out, all in and done. 4193 to the lead. And now it's Ronnie Cole Clazier. Jim Sappington, 2981. 12 and 11 is the time they need to go to the lead. Head and chores. Really well handled. Going to time him out on the back side and get him caught. And that heel loop comes up behind. Just wasn't in time, had trouble coming off the fence. Terry Gilbo, Bill Farrell, 14th call. Drew Bond Royals. All right. Terry Gilbo to the head side. It's handled. Grandpa, it's your turn. Let's do it right here. I'm a yeah, to Grandpa. 10 21. 10-21, guess what? New leaders at 38-29. This is Taylor Grubaugh, Thomas Royals, 13th call with a 27-63. and 10-65 to go to the number one spot. You broke my wheel, but what a thrill. Blue Roan comes up empty on the head side down the list. We go to Tennessee and Missouri for Ethan Tays and Jeff Kinslow. We're to the last dozen now, 27-06. They can be 11-22. Big rare by Silver out of there. I'm going to bother this little guy. How about that? Right around the horns. Finish the deal, Jeff. Well, doggone it. You know what? I think that little guy did pretty good. If you think so, give him a round. It's all right, Jeff. You get another chance. Let's go to Randy Seals and Jim Sappington. 26 on two. Four teams to catch three steers. Randy and Jim would like to get in there. Quick 11 for them to go to the lead. A little trouble with that head shot. They go out of the average. Jim Yance, Cody Davis now, Alabama and Arkansas, 26-06. We're to the top 10. Go to the number one spot. Broken barrier and a misfire with a head loop, and they go out of the average. Ninth call, Jeff Tilly, J.D. Neargard. They're 25-62 and 62 coming in. 
a little late at the store, but drawn by Roper Friendly Steer. Gonna run straight. Healers turn to shine. Come on, JD. His week misfires, and it's no time. And we go to Sarah McBride, Cole Roberts. Eighth callback. They're 24 on two. Come on, young lady. Good work. Cole, it's your turn. Oh, got it, young man. Comes up empty, and there's only seven left to go, and it's Ryan Sumter and Scott Neighbors. Drew Baugh and Napier will follow up. Risk and shot at the head side. Come on, big man at the back end. Oh, and he jumps out of it. This is Taylor Grubaugh and Andy Napier from Missouri on the head side, Arkansas on the hillside. They got 1605. Another blue rowing head horse. Right up there to give him a good throw. And that head loop too, Miss Fires. Tucker Kale, Van Figaro, 2199 on two. They got all day at 16 and 29. Quick around the head. Horns are rope. Cowboy on the heel side trying to kick up there and catch, and he doesn't get it done. No time. Greg Bryan, Billy McAlexander, 21 and 46 on two. 1682 for these guys heading towards handle. This guy on old black and white's gonna make it happen. He's gonna finish the deal. Get Dally, get Dally, get straight. There we go. Gonna be 1906. With a leg, 40 and 52 will put you second. You're going to win money. Larry Hayes, Anthony Stafford, they're ready to rope. They're 18 on two from the Sunshine State, Florida. All right, trigger the backside, sets them down. Hey, these guys mean business. Get the flag. There we go. 995. They've roped solid all the way in. They're going to finish solid. 2861. They are number one in the average by a country mile. Kim Corey from Hico, Texas. Cade Wilson, Black Oak, Arkansas. They could be 10-51. Practice pin run. You do it every day. She got out. Awesome. Behind the barrier. Handles her chores. And the healer comes up empty. There's a young lady that's worked here all week long with the back end. I think she did a great job. Give her a consolation round. She's going to go out. No time. High team back. It is theirs to lose. They are 1575 on two. They have smoked to this short round. They need 1285. 1285 for Steve Hawley and Dakota Mason. Dakota, it is up to you. Wow. 769. They wrote three steers at 2344. You'd think we're in the open. 23 and 44. All the way across the board, they smoked up a little over a seven-second average on three steers. They win the rope. And well, we're back here at the Winter Circle for the final time at the Southeast Regional here in Tunica, Mississippi, as we bring you the number eight shootout champions. We have Steve Haley and Dakota Mason as they uh, they win the number eight here this afternoon, the final roping of the weekend. I just asked you before we started, had you guys roped together very much before? No, sir. First time. Got him in a draw. Got them in a draw, teamed up. An incredible fast time on three steers of about 23. You won the fast time overall, and a uh, little over a seven-second average. You guys really roped well today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Talking to you before we got started, you're 14 years old. What are you going to do with half a 2,800 in this buckle? I just spin it on ropes and boots, and it's basically anything I can get. What grade in school are you? Nine. Nah. You play other sports, or is, is team roping kind of your main hobby? It's my main hobby. I don't do nothing else. All right. Well, congratulations. Beautiful new buckles you won. Great job. One of the fastest runs on three steers uh, for an either eight gold or an eight uh, pick draw roping that we've had in a long time. So good job. And that's it here from Tunica for the 2011 Southeast Regional.